Hello students! In this video tutorial, I will guide you on how to solve a problem involving two match samples with unknown standard deviation. So stay tuned. Suppose we are given with this problem, the height of six young plants was measured after treated with a new hormone. After four weeks, the height was given as follows. Find out whether the new hormone promotes growth or not using t-tests at 99% level. State your hypothesis and what can you say about the hormone? So before we go into the solution, let's analyze the information given to us. First, we have uh, known that these two samples are matched because it involves the same plants that are measured before and after given a new hormone. And uh, there is no information about the standard deviation, so we know that the standard deviation of the population is unknown. And since these two samples are matched, the n is uh, defined as the number of pairs, and in this case, the n value is 6. And we know that uh, alpha value is 1% since the confidence level given here is 99%. So those are the information that we know about this problem. So obviously what we can decide here is that we have to use t-test and we have to use uh, the one with match samples. So the first step here is to set the hypothesis. So the null hypothesis can be written as the mu of the height of the control sample is equal to the mu of the height of the treated samples, whereas the alternative hypothesis can be written as the mu of the height of the control samples is not equal to the mu of the height of the treated samples. So that is the first step. The second step is to set the level of significance, that is uh, 0 0.01. Since uh, the confidence level given is 99%, so 1% is equal to 0 0.01. The next step is to calculate the test statistics, whereby we have to find what is the T based on this formula, which is for match samples. So in order to find the t, we have to first find what is d bar and s value. So the d bar can be obtained by finding the difference for every pair. So we can see here that uh, the original data given to us, the control and the treated samples, and the d for each pair is obtained by subtracting the uh, two samples. So for example, for the first pair, we have the difference of 4 and 2 for the second and so on. So at the end, we have to sum up all the differences and we have to find what is the average of the difference that is uh, 9 divided by 6, which is the number of pairs in this case. So the D bar is given as 1.5. Next, we have to find what is S. Uh, so S in this case is defined as the standard deviation of differences. So whereby we have to find what is uh, the D and the D bar, yeah, the difference between the two. And it is given here where we replace the X with D and X bar with D bar. So plugging in all the values needed, so we can find the S value at the end as 1.64. Now, knowing what is D bar and S and also N, so we can plug in the values into the T formula, where here we can get the value of T equal to 2.24. So this T represents T computed or T calculated. So next we have to find what is tabulated T or the T value obtained from the table. So what are the information needed is the DF, the degree of freedom, which is equal to n minus 1, uh, and in this case is 5, 
And also the tail area, we know that the alpha is equal to 0.01. So since 0.01 represents a tail area of both sides, so we have to find uh, only one side, which is uh, 0.005. So based on these two information, we can get the t value from the table as 4.032. The next step is to make a decision based on the comparison between the T computed and the T table. So since the T computed is 2.24 and the T tabulated or the T table is 4.032 and obviously the T computed is less than the T tabulated, so the decision that we can make here is to accept the null hypothesis. Finally, the conclusion can be written as there is no difference between the mean height of the control sample and the treated sample at alpha equal to 0.01. So we can also say that the hormone given to the plants did not give any effects in terms of their growth. So that answers the question in this problem. That's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe No Statistics No Talk on YouTube for more video tutorials on statistics.